Hey guys, welcome to our first video in a series where we're going to be walking you through some content from our Lead Small, Small Group Leaders book um, that's really going to help prepare you and equip you to be the best small group leader ever. In fact, even if you're not a small group leader, this is going to help you be an amazing youth leader. We really believe that if you follow the principles laid out in this book that we have given you, you are going to be used by God to make an incredible impact in the lives of our students. So we start this introductory video by saying this, why small groups? Why relationships? Why youth ministry in general? Well, we need to recognize, number one, that in North America, we are facing a big challenge. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but in North America, students are leaving their faith and they are leaving the church at an incredibly rapid rate. In fact, most studies indicate that anywhere from one third to one half of students are walking away from their faith in the midst of university. And so for us, we recognize this isn't just a big picture issue. This is an issue that impacts our church right here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And we've even seen this happen throughout the years. And so we have to respond as a youth ministry. We have to figure out what are we going to do to help respond to this big challenge facing youth. And our response is actually what we call a small solution. We have a small solution that's going to bring big change. And here's our small solution. Our small solution is, is really starting from this belief we have. And that is that faith grows in the context of relationships. I want you to just think about that for a moment. We believe that faith grows best in the context of relationships. If you just take a moment and think about your life, I bet you, you could probably think of maybe five individuals that have impacted you and shaped you as your faith has grown over the years. The fact of the matter is we are all a byproduct of the people who pour into us. I know for me, I would not be the person that I am today. I would not have the kind of relationship with God that I have today if it were not for my mom and dad, for my pastors, for my small group leaders, for some of my peers. And so we're all a byproduct of the people who pour into us. And we believe that faith grows best in the context of relationships. And so with that being said, there's two important things you as one of our youth leaders needs to know going into serving with us at Shiloh. The first thing is this, our goal at Shiloh is incredibly simple. And this goal applies whether you're a small group leader, whether you are on the band, whether you serve in some other area, our goal is the same. We wanna build relationships with students to help students grow in their relationship with God. I'm gonna say that one more time. If you have a notebook, I would encourage you, write this down. Our goal as youth leaders at Shiloh is simple. We wanna build relationships with students to help students grow in their relationship with God. And you know what, maybe you're wondering, that's that's a great, simple goal. I think I can focus on that. But Pastor Spencer, how will I know whether or not I'm doing a good job accomplishing that goal? Like how will I know when things are going well for me and my students as a small group leader? Well, that's the second thing we want you to know. Our big win is defined like this. We win whenever a student takes a step towards owning their faith. Again, I'm going to say that one more time because I want you to understand how important this is. Our big win is this. We as youth leaders at Shiloh win whenever a student takes a step towards owning their faith. So as you focus on this goal over the next year and, and maybe in the years to come, any time, whether it's big or whether it's small, you see a student taking one more step towards having ownership over their faith, you can celebrate because that means you're doing a great job as a small group leader. And so the question becomes, with all that has been said, how are we going to do this? How are we going to be the best small group leaders we can be so that God makes an amazing impact in the lives of our students? Well, over the next five videos, we are going to break down five big ideas laid out in our Lead Small book. 
And so I want to invite you right now in this moment to check out our next video where we focus on the first big idea of Lead Small.